Good morning. We'll give folks a few more minutes to come on in. Hello, hello. Excellent. Uh, Richie, I'm pretty sure your mic actually works. Give me, like, speak to me. Test, test, test. test okay, test, perfect. Test. Yeah, yeah, you were a little quiet, but that's fine. Just checking. That was all. Okay, cool. I can up the volume for, for my microphone if you want to. No, it's not. Okay. No need, no need. You are fine. Um, it was a moment of like, hmm, maybe maybe things aren't working this morning. Who knows? Okay, yeah. Oh, Zoom okay. and Linux, like they they deliberately try to break it as much as they can all the yes. time. Yes. Welcome to this this um Tuesday that feels like a Monday. All of that. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> you mean the three rounds of capture I had to go through even rounds of I'm locked into Zoom? Yes. <laughs> I know we've got some folks that won't be joining us this morning, but I'll give folks uh, probably another minute or so and we'll get started. Okay, I have four after um, on mine, and I'm not seeing too many people come on in, so I'm going to kick us off. Richie, unless you've got any objections and want to wait longer, because you are speaker today. You're also muted, so I guess it's fine. <laughs> I'm fine. If you could just reload the slides once, sorry. Oh, sure. Okay. Give me a second, then. Fine. The running joke of of these calls, but <laughs> every time, every single time, yeah, no, it's fine. No, it's usually I don't, but this time I literally stopped typing while already on this call. <sighs> Busy day. But I'm done, so you can reload. All right, go ahead and get started then. Um, good morning, welcome all of you. Our normal antitrust policy notice. Meeting logistics, you are here. You have made it to this meeting or you're watching on the recording later, which is also fine. Um, this will be updated over in the TOC public working doc, all is well. And our agenda today is, um, which is gonna be talking about open explainer. So um, we'll take questions as well and uh, one note, this is our last um, meeting with the uh, some of our TOC members. So big thanks to uh, Matt Klein, who's here with us today. And uh, yeah, thank you for your work. So Richie, I'll hand off to you. 
Perfect, thank you. And also we have Steve Flanders here. So I, uh, so if I, if I get anything wrong on the open telemetry site, that's perfect. Of course, you can fact check me like immediately. That's that's really good. <laughs> and I mean, so um, yeah, if you could uh, go one forward, please. So the um, I was asked by I think it was Liz, Liz initially um, to to give a quick overview of what all the open things are um, and that's what I'm aiming to do. Uh, feel free to interrupt at any time. Um, there might be mistakes. Uh, Chris, this was done uh, not at leisure. Uh, those slides. <laughs> Um, so there might be dragons and something wrong. And if anything is weird, or if you have any questions or anything, feel free to just interrupt or to just write it uh, down and ask at the end, both is fine. Um, yeah, super short history of all that naming confusion because we have so many opens here. Um, as is usual with buzzwords and open is a buzzword by now, um, it gets used a lot. Um, you saw this initially with open source, uh, then open standards. You see it outside of CNCF as well with, for example, OpenStack and OpenTSDB. And there are many, 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 many more examples of this, um, which doesn't lead to less confusion. Let's put it like this, especially if, if the similar terms are used in pretty much similar uh, fields. Um, yeah. So open metrics is standardizing the Prometheus wire format and evolving the Prometheus wire format. Uh, open service mesh, yeah. Yeah, it's it, like it's endless. Um, at some point, it's probably makes like, but you always have this the pendulum swings eternal death, take breaths, it goes back and forth. Uh, we will have more unique names again, and then we have more descriptive names again, and then it goes back and forth. So, yeah, um, open metrics is focused on the Prometheus uh, wire format and evolving that. Open tracing was uh, focused on standardizing code interfaces, API interfaces and such of various uh, tracing libraries um, within the cloud native space and the wider cloud native space. Open census was about open sourcing census, which is Google internal. And you can think of this roughly as similar to how Borg is the closed Google version of what is now Kubernetes in the open and how Borg Mon is the closed version of what is now uh, Prometheus in the open. And how you can argue that, that uh, Monarch is in part um, what Stackdriver is not in the open, at it, but at least as an op offering to, to, to the outside world. And that's not fully correct. Census or open census is an effort to, to bring, or was an uh, effort to bring uh, the census library set into, into the open. And open telemetry in turn is a merger of open tracing and open census. Next slide, please. So going a little bit in, in, in depth on, on the open metrics side, back when CNCF was pretty new, um, there was a large political problem around anything supporting anything called Prometheus, like Massive. Um, except for influx data, at some point, uh, everyone was trying really, really hard to stay away from supporting anything which had the Prometheus name in it. Which is part of why Dan and Chris, who's also here, um, asked Prometheus team to standardize um, the wire format outside of the Prometheus team to, um, to just have an independent standard with an independent name where you have an, a, a thing which you can support without having to, to carry that Prometheus name, which obviously if you, if you want to have a competing project or even sell a competing product, can be harmful to your marketing efforts. Of course, you basically have to admit that you're supporting something which someone else came up with, which is never nice. Um, that, that's not a technical concern to be clear, yet it is a concern which needs to be taken seriously. Myself, I needed an IETF RFC, of course I was still working at an ISP and the, the language in which you speak to network vendors is RFCs and you slip that one RFC into a tender, and all of a sudden they're required by contract to support that thing. Um, so that was the intention there. And how the open name came, uh, Chris convinced me that open metrics is the name. Of course, I wanted to have epimeters, but as a brother to open uh, to Prometheus and such, but yeah, we ended up with open metrics instead, uh, which is fine, I guess. Next slide, please. Open metrics is and was and will remain 100% focused on the PromCore Thanos ecosystem, 
So it's basically aligned with what Prometheus, Cortex, Thanos, and also uh, Kubernetes SIG instrumentation do and want. And it's more of a follow or a, a coordination and not so much a trailblazing where open metrics defines where Prometheus needs to go. It's the other way around. The one notable exception is uh, exemplars, which we on the open metrics side took and put into, into open metrics. And as such, Prometheus Cortex Thanos um, took over. Funnily enough, that is a direct result of open metrics and open census talking back in, I think it was 2017 about potentially merging. Uh, and that was one of the highlight features which which made clear sense. So we took that over into open metrics, even though we never merged or anything. Uh, open metrics is pretty opinionated about the happy path and is doing the Unix thing of do one thing and do it well. Stable release happened last year, end of year, last year. Currently, client Golang, of course, that is relevant to CNCF, um, is the 29th most used Go library on GitHub. Um, it had open metric support since roughly 2018, 2019, depending on, on when you say it was supported and full support is within this quarter. There were quite some concerns about the openness of open metrics, which I get, and I don't believe in, in not talking about stuff. So here it is. Um, Oh yeah, too much context, sorry, that is flipped, was in our heads. And even people who only had a short absence of, of or from the calls found it impossible to re-onboard themselves because we had so much context in our head and we're not making enough progress with writing this down, which is obviously on us. But at that point, we were four people uh, doing this on the side, so yeah. It is what it is. We thought we would be quicker writing it down and then helping people on board from that, uh, which didn't work out in the end, as you probably noticed. Uh, the other thing which didn't help is that 2019 was absolute hell for myself um, with yeah, burnout, depression, acute loss of hearing, everything. That's better now, but still it's part of that story and part of why, why we weren't able to do it as quickly and as openly as, as we intended. And also there were some attempts to try and take open metrics away from Prometheus, something which took quite some energy to just not, not fight, but it still reject or to, to make sure we kept the focus on Prometheus. Um, and honestly, we overshot in protecting this. Um, Alina and such, we talked about this in the past, also know uh, more context of this. It's, it is what it is. Next slide, please, open to open telemetry. And Steve, feel more than welcome to, to interject at any point um, or to just take completely over because uh, that's that's just me talking about someone else. <laughs> um, so open telemetry is intended largely as a data pipeline set of libraries, what have you for the three pillars, metrics, logs, and traces with some other things for like errors and such, but those are, this is the main focus. Here we are focusing on the metrics side, of course, that is the direct comparison. Um, there is a open telemetry native metrics format, which is called OTLP. Um, there have been many recent meetings between the Prometheus Cortex, Thanos, Kubernetes, SIG instrumentation groups, and also uh, open telemetry to, to try and hammer out where to go from here and how to increase, uh, how to increase cooperation as much as we can. The last meeting, just to just to show, of course, that is a nice number to show how 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 committed on the Prometheus side we are. Um, the last meeting was last Friday. Uh, that was five hours uh, in the night for EMEA. Most of Prometheus team are in EMEA, and yet most of Prometheus she, uh, team showed up and stayed till the end. At least a few of us, myself included. Um, during that, and I found that very good and very, very positive, um, that Open Telemetry reiterated um, their, their commitment to Prometheus, which makes sense within CNCF, I guess, yet no king making and such. So still it makes sense for them to be able to experiment with OTLP and, and do things outside of this, obviously. Um, we still have basically the, the same uh, technical incompatibility hub. I can't English. Technical incompatibility. In, you know the word, you can read it. I can't speak it, sorry. Um, between uh, the different projects, um, the most, uh, the, the strongest ones would be uh, that the histograms are flipped and it's mathematically impossible 
to have uh, to to convert from open telemetry um, histograms into Prometheus compatible uh, histograms as of right now. Um, there's a host centric model which is not bad from open metrics and Prometheus point of view. Of course, we can take whatever uh, data, yet it it might uh, prove cumbersome with with like serverless and such. So that is one of the things which is on the agenda. Um, and there is like more data formats which need to be recast, blah, 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 blah. Um, and one thing which was raised by Kubernetes is, uh, I wasn't aware of this beforehand, um, that Kubernetes has a hard requirement on in-process metric endpoints, uh, which currently is not something which OpenTelemetry can provide. So it cannot be a drop-in replacement. Um, what was stated from OpenTelemetry side during the last call is that um, something stable, sorry, um, I, I forgot a word, uh, that the plan on OpenTelemetry side is to have uh, something usable, specific, whatever, stable enough to, to, to really uh, drop in at the latest by end of year, this year. Um, yeah, next slide, please. This is now coming to an ask from both Open Telemetry and uh, Chris and Prometheus team also talked about this recently. Um, there are many interpretations of what compatible actually means. Um, and we identified quite a few, like for example, on, on the API level, how do I talk to the libraries in the code? Can I just replace it? Would I need a wrapper? Um, things like, for example, in process, things like the wire formats, things like the underlying data formats. There are many different ways to, to, to define compatible, as it were. Um, and while we do have quite some technical guidelines and such, and while we have all the reference documentation, which for example, Datadog used to re-implement open metrics on their end, um, we don't have something where you can self-certify or certify uh, like as a service, like Julius did it for PromQL, which most of you will know about. But this is a focus area for this year for Prometheus, not just on, on the levels which are important to, to open telemetry or just, but also on other levels, like for example, how to get data out and such remote rewrite, PromQL, blah, 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 um, to, to enable this to be more of an independent ecosystem where, where people can just test against canonical test suites instead of having to ask us or, or look at the reference code all the time. That's it, I think. Yes, it is. So questions, corrections. Probably let's start with corrections first. <laughs> Nothing? Cool, okay. Um, so yeah, questions, discussion, whatever. Uh, Richie, thank you for the presentation. Uh, I guess I have a, I have a little question about the, about the name, uh, Open. So we have it in 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 so many in so many projects, and um, uh, Katie just mentioned in the Slack uh, that there's also open service mesh. Um, there's no trademark on this name, right? And uh, we'll probably continue having projects with this name. So I wonder what would be the best way. We're going to share this presentation with um, uh, with whoever was on the call and uh, and others. But what would be the best way to to put it maybe up in writing or put it somewhere on the website for others to reference and to understand like if I'm a project and I'm picking a name like I probably wouldn't want to pick open as there are so many projects having it and I want to avoid the confusion. That's that's part of why I, I wanted to have a unique name not a descriptive one but um, we are where we are and I, I don't have complaints. Um, I'm on the Debian trademark team, which is why I have quite some context on how US trademark works, but please anyone correct me because I'm not a lawyer, in particular not a trademark lawyer. By having an establishing prior use, you can use this when you register a trademark even late at a later stage. Yeah. Um, so we don't have to register it right now, you can register it later. As per CNCF uh, policies, um, sandbox projects do not get a registered trademark. That happens upon graduation. We did have discussions with CNCF about uh, pulling uh, about pulling the trademark regist registration for open metrics earlier than graduation, for the simple reason that there is so much movement around the the whole uh, project and so much use of the name already, as as shown in the end user radar and such, where, where it fifth place I think. Um, 
like the, it is already a household name or it is already an active use. Um, in the end, it was decided that that we should wait for graduation before we get um, before we we go the way of um, of grabbing the trademark. Um, but yeah, from from my perspective, as the project assigns all rights to CNCF, um, the only entity which has any right to the name is is CNCF. We have Chris here, so. Um, yeah, no, that sounds about right, Richie. Um, you know, we, we have definitely rights to to the name if, if we so wish to pursue it. But I think in the case of open metrics um, and any kind of spec project like that is understanding the difference between the uh, actual name of the project and potentially any kind of conformance mark um, down, the, down the line that you may want to um, have. So this is kind of the, the way to think about this is there's a difference between Kubernetes and then Kubernetes certified. Those are two different marks that we have. Uh, registered for different purposes. And just to be clear, there is already yeah. a test suite for open yeah. metrics. The intention is to use precisely that to have a open metrics compatible or open metrics native or open metrics certified or open metrics whatever. Um, that's still in the air, but that's also something which will be done within this year, obviously, because um, with with all uh, with all the actors entering this this space, it sadly has been shown that we need to be a little bit more more self asserted self assertive The sign of success, Assert Richie. <laughs> yeah. it, 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 it's a good problem to have, but still, it is something which we need to solve. Um, that we need to that we need to be a little bit more. Uh, Native metrics, no. We, I'm, uh, honestly, we did consider renaming, of course, there were too many opens, but if you look at the amount of, of, of references to the name, it's way too late by now. Um, the last nail in the coffin for any rename was, was the end user survey. Um, of course, there's no way we can rename this now, like absolutely not. Any other questions? Richie, I have a question. So you uh, have the open tracing project in incubation now, and then open telemetry is um, in sandbox. But uh, open telemetry includes uh, open tracing. Is there any plan to face out maybe open tracing and make that uh, open telemetry? I think yeah, I know the so answer. Let's see. Oh, perfect. Happy to answer that one. So yeah, that was announced as part of uh, open telemetry being formed. So you should think of open telemetry as the next major version of both open tracing and open census. So yes, the goal is that open telemetry will move into incubation uh, and open tracing will eventually kind of phase out. So that is actively underway. Right now, the community is working on taking the best of both open tracing and open census and merging it together. Uh, and we're very close in regards to that. And then there'll be further announcements about long-term viability. Uh, we also announced that there will be deprecation and backwards compatibility support. So there'll be at least two years where you can continue using either open tracing or open census, and there will be a backwards compatible shim available in open telemetry for you. Thank you. And Amy, could you stop screen sharing so we see more faces? Thank you, perfect. You have what we have. <laughs> Anyone else? Any more questions? Now is the time. Okay. Oh, yep. Looks like um, that is it then. Okay. Let's so maybe. Final thoughts. Yeah, uh, just two pieces of information. A, um, the standardization effort within ITF is ongoing. I will be uh, talking during the ITF meeting in March, I think, um, about the whole thing. It's already been submitted, blah, 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 as part of the ID process. Um, the other thing for future work uh, for Open Metrics, one of the highlight features will be the new um, 
high card in or high resolution uh, histograms, which is currently being worked on within Prometheus. Uh, will then be talked about between Prometheus, Cortex, and uh, sequence instrumentation, um, and then basically specified in open metrics. Again, this will be trailing, not trail blazing, but this is the next major thing for just to see the trajectory, if it's relevant. It probably wasn't for this one, sorry, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> now you know. Okay. All right. Um, one note, um, our next meeting uh, is a closed meeting to review the Sandbox um, applications. So if folks want to be able to apply for Sandbox, this would be the week. And that's pretty much it. Any other comments, questions, things we need to cover today? All right, then I will let everyone go. Good to see you all. Thank you. Yeah. Bye all. Thank you. Bye. Thanks.